Is this is this uh, on? Looks like okay. Good. Yeah. Just letting everybody so know. Here's our kitchen space. I'll put it down. Okay. Yes. Over here, Holly. You're cool with this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is my friend Holly. She Hi. lives here. She's washing dishes. She can talk. She sees very adamant that she's going to get this counter all cleaned off and you can see it's all cleaned off so that we've got a good working space um it's a great space i don't know how far down you folks can see but there's lovely uh, seating a billiards table some foosball a table full of bread a tribute to ron on the whoops over there uh more couches that's bear can you see the that's my dog that's holly's dog bear <laughs> Rick Master, right beside the chair. Oh, you got one. And this is my friend Rick, who's going to also help. Hello. Can you see? There you go. And uh, and that's Red over there. I don't know if you want to wave, Red. No. There you go. Don't know if you can see. There you go. And uh, here we are. So today we're going to make uh, some muffins. So I've made the big batch of muffin dough already batter and Holly's gonna get the pans ready. So these are the muffin pans and Holly all you really have to do is get the, the oil like this okay and make sure that they're all coated. Sure. And there's more oil there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah no problem. We can get those going and then we have some griddles set up and we're gonna make grilled cheese sandwiches and then I made a pot of tomato soup because Nothing is better than grilled cheese and tomato soup. So, here you go. I'm going to put this here so you can watch. And uh, when I get, oh, these are the griddles. We have a couple of griddles. We actually have five or six griddles. We do a lot of um, brunches. And uh, they're great for pancakes and French toast. So, when uh, I do this, I can tell you a bit about food here. Um, we are so grateful to so many community partners that make food happen at a better tent city. Um, I guess I'll start with a food bank. They, uh, they're amazing. They're, I, can't, I, I, don't, I don't even know. Sorry, but they don't bring enough milk. <laughs> <laughs> we get an awful lot of milk. But we, normally we do get enough. But and actually today we got an extra case but because I one time it. there was hardly any and I was like, <laughs> I love my milk. There you go. Um, and so but I actually, no, I'm just, I am joking. The food bank is wonderful. They bring us lots of food. <laughs> uh, we put it in order every week with uh, the best we can do and say, you know, whatever you can do, this is, this is what we would like. And you never know what you're going to get uh, uh, with respect to the order. It's just sort of what, what they can provide. And they do an extraordinary job of providing for us. So we get meat. And here's my friend Paul. Hello. And, uh, and oh, no, he's cool. He's gonna help. Oh, oh. I asked him to help. Uh, Sorry, so, here. Yeah, yeah. Holly's here too. It's a whole team today. Um, so yeah. So the food bank every week they create an order for us, and what happens is they do two deliveries: one here to a better tent city um, at 41 Ardelt, and that includes milk, um, eggs, um, basically cereal, um, handheld fruit. Um, all kinds of things that, uh, that are distributed to residents. And, um, and then in addition to that, uh, so then what happens is Nadine and Alvin make care packages for each of the residents and, uh, um, and everyone gets a little box of, that includes everything from some jam, often peanut butter, um, uh, if there's any um, uh, insure or meal replacements, some folks really appreciate those. Uh, food bank even gives a snack, so someone will get a, a small, you know, snack of some kind of crackers, um, uh, fruit, milk, uh, coffee, tea, sugar. So all of that comes here. Thank you, Rick. Can you get the grilled cheese? Coffee. You get coffee with them. Um, and then what they deliver to our other location where we store the food, and this is another one of our wonderful partners, is St. John's the Evangelist Anglican Church in downtown Kitchener. And uh, that's where we have a big freezer and a fridge and we store the food that we're gonna make meals. Thank you. 
So Paul's been out gathering dishes because folks often take their meals out to um, they their don't cabins. Bring them back. And they don't bring them back. It's true, but you guys are rock stars and you bring them back. So well, there you a go. lot of people don't. Um, so, uh, okay, I'm just going to pause what I'm saying for one minute. Can you do, can you do some grilled cheeses? Grilled cheese? Yeah. I think I can. I think you can too. Uh, Rick often helps with French too and does uh, great uh, French toast. Anyway, so the food that goes to the church uh, are things like the boxes of frozen meat. Um, let's see, what else do we get there? Oh, bags of frozen eggs. Here's the stuff if you want to talk about. Cheese and egg bread. Cheese. So there's this kind of cheese. And you can see what the food bank gave us this week. Actually, I've been kind of boarding the cheese so that we have this for today. Sliced Havarti. Yes. Oh, the goop? Yes. They're already all oiled up. Wonderful. Before I start, before I start that, Laura, I'm just going to get rid of the garbage in the washing machine again. Of course. Here we go. And here's your spoon. Thank you. Okay, so back to St. John's the Evangelist Anglican Church. Um, we store all of the food there, the, the vegetables, um, and then we also get some, in addition to the fruit that gets distributed to everyone, the food bank is kind enough to give us a um, case of fruit that we use for brunches on Saturdays and Sundays. So, oh, what else do you need? Butter? Mm -hmm. yeah, um, me, Laura, sorry. Yeah. I was just going to butter the griddle because I think we don't have soft stuff. So, uh, here's some more cheese. I have a bag of cheese somewhere. Where did I put all the cheese? Where did I put all the cheese? Oh, here it is. And then, and then if we run out, I have this too. So yeah, so this tells you how great the food bank is. They called yesterday to see, um, understanding that we would probably uh, have to be moving. And uh, they called yesterday. Hello. Hello. No, Nadine's not here today. At this time, she'll be back a little later. Um, I'm going to let you guys talk to Rick for a minute. Can you talk to folks about life at a better chance city while you do that? I'll be right back. My dear, we have a lot of. They pass you to the wrong person. Hey, do we have anything to say about life at the better chance city?
What happened there? here Laura and oh, uh, we just got another order for a, for a lunch which is awesome oh, so, great. so Paul oh, be heading, he's heading over to the region of Waterloo or Waterloo region um, and uh, and there may be some questions that come in and if they do then Georgina will be uh, will be uh, curating those and asking questions I believe um, okay there you go Yes, everyone feel free to either raise your hand if you're a panelist or type them into the Q&A or in the chat function. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, so you can see it's pretty busy out there, right? Like everybody wonders what happens out at a lot 42. Well, a lot. Hey, there is yeah. Nadine. I'm going to, oh my God, they're all coming in at once. So um, unmute guys, uh, Nadine, and let us know what's going on. Oh, I don't know. They... Hi. Okay, we're Hi. Hi, I'm trying to find the address that I'm looking for. Almost there. Oh, I found it. <laughs> I found the address. Ooh. I'm so amazing. <laughs> you know Self what? Self praise is no recommendation, but. <laughs> Self praise is what gets you through any day. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So, I don't know if it's the front door I go or the back door. No. Well, maybe they'll tell us because they they were they were on the chat earlier. So, um, can I get back to my story? Are we there? Yes. Well, just a minute. We've got competing action going on. So we're, we're gonna let. We're gonna let. Okay. Cool. We'll just carry on and cook lunch. This is good. Okay. I don't know if this is the door. And here's Nadine now. <laughs> so Nadine is you're looking for the house, and I believe yeah, I found the house. I'm ringing the buzzer. Excellent. There's different. And uh, I hope somebody's there. <laughs> uh, oh, I see a door Hi. open. Hi, I'm here to deliver the meal. How are you? I just got the door. <laughs> there she is. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi. That looks amazing, door to door service. <laughs> Going mobile lot for you to hear you go. This is amazing. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much on behalf of a better tent city. Well, thank it's you me. so much. I, I didn't actually expect the amazing meal because oh, I don't even actually like oh oh wait, wait, wait. Like she can hear. Sorry. Nadine, that's on. okay. Um tell Lynn uh -huh. about tell Lynn the story Hang on. Okay. going mobile. Oh wait. About how to <laughs> good hi heather how are you i'm good how are you i'm awesome thank you i actually didn't donate till this morning so i didn't think i was getting an amazing meal so this is lovely thank you so much for this amazing door-to-door -door service <laughs> you don't feel like we're and we're really serious about this <laughs> no this is amazing thank you i cannot wait what and I'm so pleased to be able to watch and see all of the the great stuff that you guys do. What a what a great way to have a report back to the community. It's so smart. Well, thank you because we wanted to make it meaningful and we really want people to get to know what's going on out there. I, Nadine, can you share with uh, with Linda um, the uh, the how how did you end up uh, going mobile? What exactly did you? Why did you go mobile? Well, I went mobile because when after my store was closed down, I was told that I could come in and get my stuff. And then I found out they were dumping my stuff in the garbage. When I finally went back to the store, most of my stuff was gone, like the coolers that I had to use to start to open another business. So I went in and I said, Lord, I'm going mobile. 
because I was determined and I decided to take my store on the road to serve the people that was sleeping at the store. So that's why Gordon Mobile came about. It's amazing. Awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> Every day I'm more and more and more impressed with the work you guys are doing. You're kicking ass. Should I say that on a recording? <laughs> Absolutely. Now you're recorded. <laughs> oh, I'm going to mute, I'm gonna mute you guys. Go back to Laura. Yeah. Like, okay. Delivery is happening. So all thank right. you very okay. much. Awesome. Perfect. I love Bye. You. Thanks. Yeah. Love you too. Laura. Laura, can you unmute, please? I muted you. How are you having? So when Jean was successful in her delivery. Let's go, move it, go. That, 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 um, just so you know, Holly's not talking to a human being. Holly's talking to Bear. There are no dogs in the Bear is a dog. And we don't have behind, behind the kitchen. I know. I know he does. He's making you jealous. Yeah, he wants to be around you. Um, okay. I, I hate I hate to go away from you again, Laura. But uh, can mm -hmm. you come back to your story? It's just the polls at the region, so I want to check that out. Okay. Absolutely. Go ahead. Awesome. Okay, go ahead, Paul. You can turn on your uh, on your mic and on your uh, video. And oh my. Okay. Uh, yep. Awesome. How's it going? Okay, we can't hear you, but that's fine. So anyway, still can't hear you. Did I mute her or something awful? Hmm. For some reason, her camera isn't working, but that's the way life goes. But she's up, she's there. Paul, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Turn up the volume, turn up the volume. I need a sign, that's it. Just watch this. This is called old style communicating. Okay, so uh, we can't hear. Oh, I spelt it wrong, hear you. It's backwards, but. Can you hear me? Now we can. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. All right. So where are you? And oh yeah. Okay. Good. Sorry. Awesome. Um, I'm in front of the region of Waterloo, and someone sponsored a meal for Karen Redman. So yes. I'm just about to go in and see if she's there. Uh, let's see what we've got. So it's a, a it's kind of we're kind of sampling different meals we would be offering for uh, people with uh, food insecurity or homeless. And uh, it's all from donations. So we've got hot meals. We've got the uh, spaghetti with uh, uh, ground beef. We've got, uh, let's see, we've got, apparently we've got pad thai. We've got some stew. Uh, it's all much from donations. It's whatever flavor of the day. Uh, all very healthy. And uh, we've got, uh, and I, I, I'm, we're willing to share the recipes. We've got a peanut butter sandwich here. Um, it's, uh, and actually it's, a, you know, it's like, this is stuff that was on sale. So it comes back to like 30 cents for a sandwich. Uh, and we also have, like, uh, uh, hygiene products. Awesome. That we, that we can offer to people. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just about to go check in. I'll probably turn up the camera and see, uh, maybe if she's in there, I will, uh, I can come back and, uh, let so, us know how it goes. So hello, everyone. Now you also have another, you got another order. So you're actually going to have to draw by the region and then grab your next one and get going. So, um, yep. I'll to you and, uh, we'll yep. hear back from you. Sounds good. You're awesome. Bye -bye. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. Okay, and now we will go. I'm wondering where Char and Leslie are. I uh, I'm looking for the Easter Bunny, um, because I know we've got a gift, and I believe it's the city of Kitchener. I'm not sure. 
Um, but uh, now we're gonna go to back to Laura. She'll just have to unmute herself. Oh, here we go. And uh, Laura's back. She's silent right now, but that's okay. Cause she's a little busy. <laughs> this is, I feel so, I feel busy, right? I'm just sitting here eating my lettuce. Oh, here you go, now you can see our beautiful grilled sandwiches. Woo! We've made some progress. Oh, making the sandwiches. Holly's making the muffins. Wow. This is Kim over here. Kim's cutting cheese. Being very discreet. There's the um, cream of tomato soup that goes perfectly with grilled cheese. And there's Paul. You just want to say hi? <laughs> there's Paul doing dishes. Uh, and, uh, Laura. There's Paul's dog over there, Roxy. Yeah, Laura. Um, I've run out of. Oh, there you go. That's all the goop we had. Okay, cool. Well, I'll like get every last oh. thing. Sorry. Okay, the oven's ready, so we can put them in when we want. Okay. All right. So that's it. I just need to find a platter for these, and I'll be right back. Um, let's see. Uh, Rick, Polly, Kim, can you guys mention what's good or bad about living here? Okay. I will. I would love to start with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's positive about living here was um, I found myself homeless for the first time ever in my whole life, and I have a dog who's been with me. I have bear since he was 10 years old, and he's almost nine, nine now, so giving him up was not an option for me, and there's no other shelters that allow dogs, right? So. That was when I found out about this place and that they allowed pets. That was like for me, that was, you know, I had to come here. I really had no other choice, right? Mm -hmm. oh, well, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a place with, ha with ha I don't know, it's, I don't know what, to, it's a shelter, to, kind of shelter, but it is it. But you know what I mean? No other place. When you don't have anywhere to go, every other place out there won't let you go there if you have a pet. So, but this place will. So that was what initially brought me here, was just that. Um, that's a, it's a good thing. I love that um, the food is delivered three times a day and that the community is helping out. Um, I think <laughs> I'm a little bit, um, on the fence with the fact that there's no, um, I don't want to say security, but um, I guess there's no, there's no rules, right? It's like, uh, basically, it, it, you, it's kind of like an anarchy here. There's no, there's, no, there's no rules of any kind, to, and there's nobody here to enforce them if there was. So, <laughs> you can't send security in here. Okay. Right? Oh, I Does anyone have any questions about the food? Let's see. Before, uh, before maybe we go to questions, I can just finish all the thank yous. So, sure. It's real or this cheese? It's real cheese. Thanks to the food bank. Oh yeah, so the food bank, we told them we were making grilled cheese and we can never have enough ketchup. And I got a box of ketchup today, like the industrial size ketchup in my food bank delivery for here. So that's how wonderful the people at the food bank are. When they heard that we were doing brunches, they made sure we had these bags of, of uh, eggs ready to go for brunch food. So it's great, they're wonderful. And St. John's the Evangelist and the uh, Community Kitchen Cooperative of Kitchener Waterloo, CKCKW, is uh, our partner in food. And uh, the co-op got a, a grant through the United Way. Mm -hmm. The same uh, kind of grant that we got through the Community Foundation, the uh, Federal uh, Community Emergency Fund. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that funding was used to renovate this kitchen because as you mentioned, it was a bar. And when we moved in here in April, all we had, oh, oh yeah, pop those grants in the cradle. Um, Laura, what is your community now? Can you watch these guys? Yeah, oh, for sure. Or you know what would be great? 
Going back to that. So yeah, the, the co-op kitchen got a grant that allowed us to renovate this space. We got a commercial dishwasher. It's used and it's not really a dishwasher, but it sanitizes dishes, which is amazing. So it's a two minute cycle. Um, and uh, folks yeah, here uh, can, uh, sorry, this is, this is good. This is the box is gonna play hockey there. You can see that in the kitchen. Um, so uh, we got, yeah. uh, we got uh, uh, the grant that paid for the dishwasher that sanitizes the dishes, which is a huge help. We still have to wash them, but all the people you see here are regulars and washing dishes and helping out. And uh, so, uh, and also we got the stove and oven, and then we um, had some cupboards donated, and we had uh, we were able to pay for um, uh, those to be installed here. So from April until October, all we had was a bar sink with cold running water. Um, so it was quite a chore to do dishes. So having uh, a double hey, sink and access to uh, the, you know, the commercial dishwasher. Oh, yeah. um, so thanks to the kitchen co-op, and then the kitchen co-op uses that grant too. Um, uh, basically, uh, um, uh, we have I'm on, I, I help with that, and uh, we coordinate volunteers so that most of the nights of the week um, we have food uh, uh, prepared by volunteers. Either here, of course, thank you. Either here or uh, elsewhere um, during the COVID lockdown, um, folks weren't comfortable cooking here and we really didn't want people cooking here. So we made other arrangements, but now we're back to having our cooks. Um, many of them are coming back on site, which is marvelous. Um, what else can I tell you about food? Well, maybe I should take questions. So no questions yet, but we do have a couple of comments. Isabel says yum. I think that was to the grilled cheese sandwiches. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and William says, go ahead. And uh, William says, love seeing the puppers. Oh, yes, I know. So um, well, I have a couple of questions. Um, okay. Oh, somebody says they're sitting inside Waterloo Region, but I don't know who's saying that right now. Just if I don't have a question, somebody else should just uh, pipe on in. <laughs> we have more comments here. So Fariel says, Laura is an amazing baker for anyone who's wondering. So there's some, <laughs> some tea, some scoop there. <laughs> and Lynn says, yum, to the food that was delivered. There was one. I can share there was one night when there was for whatever reason there was just a lot of shrimp so because like they're always cooking with whatever they get right which is really awesome and uh um so this one night we had a shrimp fest and it was the best and it was amazing because it was going to be it would be food that wouldn't be used otherwise and I've heard people sometimes, you know, go, well, how come they're getting such good food and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, because it would go to waste if it wasn't used. And, um, and it was a great night. I really enjoyed myself. I would just like to say. Hey, so I do have some questions coming in. Good. So to anyone who can help with this one. So what is the future of Lot 42 since Ron's passing? Lot 42 as a venue space uh, was turned into a plastics manufacturing uh, facility some time ago. So I can't answer questions about that. Rod has sold the building um, and the uh, infrastructure here, and we are looking for a new home Would for a better like town city. Sure. Yeah. Oh, here I put a. So, yeah, so we're looking, uh, a better town city is looking for a new home. Hey. And we were talking about that earlier um, before we broke uh, this oh, morning. Yes. And uh, I think we're reaching the conclusion that Where's we won't find that? another uh, private individual. There's no, there's no one else like Ron um, yeah. who would be prepared to host us and um, offer us space. Oh, there's another um, Especially this, you know, amazing space. But so far, we have no one's put their hands up. Um, and so we continue to talk with um, uh, both the region and the cities. Um, 
and uh, and we are hoping that we can find some some space somewhere, some land, so that we have a place to go. Yeah, a time of transition. It is a time of transition, yes. And we've also had tremendous support um, from St. Mary's Parish. Um, they built eight cabins for us. They had a youth project last year where they um, uh, finished eight cabins that we had built and they've been helping with the wiring. Um, Father Toby uh, from that parish is out here uh, regularly. He's on the leadership team and um, he also drives a forklift, which is immensely helpful. Um, and uh, so when we need things moved, he's here um, and uh, he can move the cabin. Laura, sorry for interrupting. Here. I'm just going to move this somewhere else. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it can go, it's okay. going to go back in the closet. And I'm just going to quickly check my own camera. While they're working, because um, this is this is what it's literally like when you sit at the bar. Um, yeah. it, like literally, this is what it's, it's actually, it feels almost the same. It's amazing. Um, except that usually I'm eating a muffin. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's Georgina. Uh, Georgina's gonna take over report. I'm gonna go back behind the scenes and uh, let you guys continue on the conversation. But seriously, it really is like sitting at the bar there. So awesome. That was the hope. So Laura, I do have another question. Okay. Do you provide food only for people who live there or also for visitors? Visitors were mentioned this morning, people with children, etc. cetera. Um, they can eat, yep. Yeah. There's a fellow over if, here. If there this, you go, visitor. Visitor, if visitors come, they can, they can enjoy food as well, yep. Yeah. Exactly, and if um, you recall, for those who were with us this morning, Nadine said if someone is interested in living here, or if they have no place to be even when we're full, she will invite them to stay here uh, for a few days uh, until they can find a place to be. And of course, they're welcome to eat when they're here. And um, while Holly was speaking uh, kindly and saying we provide, uh, we deliver three meals a day, we actually don't. But I do, um, she's, she's calling folks in. Um, I do come and do brunch on uh, weekend mornings and then we do have dinner every night. And then um, we do have one volunteer who comes midweek to do uh, lunch. Some folks drop off soup, um, but it's not a regular thing. So folks are coming to grab. Oh, we're just gonna we're gonna take one little break. So we'll hold off on a couple of questions, and we're gonna go to Charlie for a minute down in the church. Um, our Easter Bunny has something she wants to share. Hello. Whoops. Uh, you need to unmute, Char. Unmute it. Oh, good. How's it going? What's up? <clears throat> well, we just dropped off a bunch of food. Oh, good. To who? House of Friendship. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, were they happy to get it? Yes, but my reputation is gone. <laughs> no more strong me. Now I'm wearing pink. It's not funny. I don't think I do good with long hair. I keep trying to tuck my ear behind my ear. It's not funny, Heather. I have a reputation. It's gone now. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you know, what's important is that you're fully self-expressed. And, um, <laughs> and, and now you are embodying the Easter Bunny. And this is, uh, I, I do theater work and stuff like that. So this is my... My, this is my plug, man. Oh. This is She's my uh, protege. She is the woman I plan to train. She is going to be the most amazing theater joker you have ever met. <laughs> and she's the Easter Bunny. <laughs> hey, Heather. Yes. Can I come back for a minute? Yes, you may. Okay, we're gonna uh, go back. Thank you for taking that food over to the House of Friendship. That's awesome. That's the other thing about this community is we're always helping each other, right? And that's what an ecosystem really is. Always back and forth. Okay, and Hi, I just wanted to introduce you guys to my friend Tim. He's here to have a sandwich. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Tim lives here too. Do you want to tell him what it's like to live here? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's all right, uh, but you know, for the most part, it's a home. Different. <laughs> it is different. It's definitely different. But to stay, how long have you been here, Tim? Uh, I've been here since last summer. There you go. Yeah. 
I personally can't wait to leave, but <laughs> no. Uh, the, the, where are you gonna take your house when you, uh, you know, when uh, when you leave, right? Like, are you, are you taking your home with you? Because we we all pay for our homes, right? I'm taking oh, my yeah, home with me. I'm taking I, it down. I, I'm disassembling it. Which we're, and I'm strapping it to my back, and I'm oh, taking it with I, me. I'm it's here. my home, man. It's I, my strap. I'm gonna take it here. I'm gonna tent it next, man. <laughs> It's most likely going to be my sister's backyard. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, we got a shack. And I'd be like, yeah, my shack. My shack. Don't get me wrong. I'm very thankful for, for, for the fact no, 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 that no, I no, have no, this. No, no. Okay, it's the fact of the people that are here that make it that shitty, okay? It's not the fact of the, uh, of the whole accumulation that we brought yeah. together. They're, not, they're, together. Not, they're, they're not, not trying to make your time any better. You yeah, know, yeah. like. Shitty and honestly, that's yeah. terrible because people shouldn't be rubbing off with anybody. Yeah. Really, we're all in the same boat, and everything else is that and whatnot. And mm -hmm. we're trying to be a community. We're yeah. trying to let everybody else know that we can fit in society. But we can't do that when we got like yeah. you know, bark shit outside small, of our house. A small few, yeah, yeah. A small yeah. Few yeah. And then we have all these guests coming in here, taking all our food and everything else. It's stuff that we pay for. And everything else with that. Like, 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 some of us don't even eat any of this because, you know, like, we don't get that, to. Yeah, because the guests that they, uh, wait, that wait, they bring over, they, they eat. Clarify. Yeah. When you pay your rent. That just pays for your cabin. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Food is also made. Well, the dean said $100 in the food or whatever. I don't know if that's insane or whatever or whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Personally, I don't care as long as I get my check at the end of the month and spend on whatever I want. I don't care if you guys give me the rest of the money. And it does feel like home? <laughs> and it is home. No, and it, it, it is home because I don't ever come out of my house, right? So it's just like, you know, like, like, like I'm a hurt at the beginning. And I don't like, you know, rack the machines. But I do but I do try to come out for everybody else's sake and purposes. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. This conversation's really I think a lot of times we think that everybody has the same opinion and it's, it's not the case, right? Some yeah, yeah, nobody, nobody sticks to each other. There's like, you can't say because we're on TV, you can't say We're like, not on TV, and, we're on the internet. And, and pretend that this place is on Wonderful place to be. No, it is though. Yo, if any if anybody's ever been here, it speaks for itself. Okay, like it's not everybody's cup of tea, but hey, you, you can't be everybody's cup of tea all the time. Like somebody has to be that guy. No, yeah, and I'm that guy. I'm definitely that guy. I think we all are in our own sense. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, and there's Lord. Lord, do you want to say hi? No, 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 keep blowing my laptop. Over here. Oh, get your bomb off. Sparkle. Get your bomb off. There you go. There's Laura. Hey, everybody. Hey. 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 At least he's got two of them on. <laughs> we have grilled cheese. Oh, we have two. Oh, oh. Laura's Hi, joke. She's at my house. She's like, you. look at my makeup. Oh, 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 she's only got one eye done. <laughs> I'm like, I thought that's what you were going for. So, George, do you have any other questions? No more questions. Uh, so, Don, I just wanted to mention that they appreciate these points. It's good to kind of hear, I, I'll add to that. I think it's good to hear sort of, you know, people's opinions of what it's like to actually live. That's what we want, lived experience, right? That's right. It's really awesome that everybody's actually sharing with us what, uh, how, it, how it is to live at ABTC. Oh How's the, uh, how are the sandwiches? Are they good? They're growing now. A wave of people came in and they just started. I just have to check the uh, muffins. All right, well, we've got about um, 15 minutes and then we're going to be, uh, we're going to be actually showing a film. I know, I know. I know, right? Yeah. In the film at 1.30, so if people want to stick around, it's an, it's a, it's a wonderful story. And if, you, um, and if you if you need to go, you need to go. And Laura is going to continue talking for the night in the next 15 minutes, and people will continue to uh, say hello. Um, and I'm going to be going off screen because I just need to be practical and type things differently. Georgina, you're in charge. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna share Tao's uh, comment here. 
gosh, it is so important to know that this is a fantastic initiative, but also it is not a permanent solution to housing security. I deeply, deeply appreciate hearing from residents who will speak a powerful truth. It is a better tent city, but long-term solutions are so needed. So thank you for that. Well, uh, right on. Um, I can't say I couldn't agree more. Um, what we tried to do with the Better Tent City is show people that people don't need to live under a bridge or in a doorway, but this isn't the answer. Everybody here should have their own place. Or, or live in a supportive housing environment where they have their own place, but they also have access to other services that they need. But I also think that you should strive to just be for, for, to, to be somewhere else. I don't think that this is a place that you, I don't think this should be the end that where you think in your head, this is where I want to be forever. Like, for the, I'm speaking for myself, I'm nobody else. Like, I'm striving to find my own place and not be here anymore, right? Um, but everybody's an individual and thinks their own way, but I personally think that the government should really start building buildings to with you know apartments actual apartments and proper you know um shower showers and not that and plumbing not that there isn't showers and plumbing in here but you know like where you're not living in a shed that people have in their backyard like where you actually have your own apartment with this with a fridge and stove and you can cook your own meals and but it, it's affordable because I can't uh, like I'm on ODSP, I get $1,200 a month. And if I want to do right now and look at one bedroom apartments, I would be lucky to find one at that price. Right. $1,200, I mean. So I mean, I'd be lucky to find a one bedroom apartment at what I get in one month to live. So the government really needs to do something about that. Yeah, thank you. Anybody else have any questions about the plan? I just want to say that that was really great. Um, that was sure. great. like you know. I can't tell you how many amazing, thoughtful people live here. Um, amazing yeah. folks. Laura, I have a question. Yeah. Go, Shar. Um, what made you get? What made you want to begin volunteering there? Oh. That's an important question. I yeah. guess. Um, well, Ron asked me to get behind the project early in the game uh, when we were still thinking it was going to be downtown. And uh, I just thought it was such a great idea because um, I've uh, done other community initiatives that food not bombs for, I don't know, the last 17 years or so. And, um, mm -hmm. It always struck me as Doesn't have sugar in it, horrible that syrup. Okay, people and uh, milk quick cream, dairy free food stuff eat. that I wasn't supposed to take. So, um, from, uh, yeah, so I was you know really that, happy yeah, with the I, idea. It's like fruit really squirts in there. I haven't tried it uh, yet, but I stirred it. And, uh, well, I don't know. Sorry, Laura, we can't quite hear you. Could you, would you mind repeating the last few sentences again, please? <laughs> um, I, I, I just oh, think so. the idea of a better tent city is such a good one. My reason for being here is to prove that we can make it successful. Because we are all good people eventually. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> Given the opportunity to be. Yeah, yeah of well, course. Well, it's give us opportunities. It's, 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 it's that we're right. better with it than, uh, you know, like kind of. Oh, that's you know, yeah, you know, one of, yeah, I know, I know, I know. One person. I put like half, like it was only like this big coffee anyway, or whatever, so, and I put the rest, like maple syrup. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, it's strong. Like it's. I'm but, on my second grilled cheese. But I'm I, not even gonna lie. Are you serious? I'm not even gonna lie. I'm totally eating my second one right now. So I do have another question Sorry, from no, Cynthia. No. I was gonna say feta. <laughs> oh, so do I have to cut them up? I like the Okay, are you still done, Laura? I tried to stick my hand in it and it failed. I'm just making it a little harder. I've got cheese cut up right behind you. Oh, thank you. Bam. Oh, look at that, man. Yeah, all lined up nicely too. Okay. There we go. Oh man, great help over here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Going nuts. Hi. We do have another oh, question, Laura, if you can hear me. Uh, yeah. Some tomato. So, does the health inspector ever come by the kitchen? Somebody wants to know. So, it's an interesting thing, right? Because this is not a public space. We're not serving the public, we're cooking with people in their homes. 
right? So I show up to help my friends cook in their house. That's the way I approach it. And cook nutritious food. So we're, so we're actually, you know, eating, having a good meal. That said, the kitchen co-op has um, their coordinators that come out twice a week. And they're people who are trained in safe food handling, as are many of our volunteers. And uh, you know, there's, there's some down there helping stuff. And there's um, uh, tomato, cream of tomato soup. There's a severe shortage of mugs right now. Anyone who wants to donate any dishes to a better jet city, we need mugs. Um, anyway, so no, so um, I don't believe public health has been here, but I have to tell you that we would beat the standards. These guys keep the kitchen incredibly clean. We have a series of paid jobs, 10 bucks to do dishes, 10 bucks to scrub the floors, uh, take out garbage and do the bathrooms. And every day, all of those jobs are done. And the uh, food bank gives us cleaning supplies. Other people donate cleaning supplies. And the place is kept very, very clean. Um, yeah. And we do have a rule that there are no dogs behind the counter. Yeah, it's, it's been a while, though. Yeah. Sure, yeah. If you and here's the star of the show. Look, Matt. just came in. Hey, Dylan. So the person who came in to check the place out, Nadine's just talking with him. No, we go. I never, I never I know. I know. You I know. You did the same. I'm just going to ask these guys to. Uh, when I walk in, like, no! <laughs> <laughs> um, there's some people hearing from where? Brantford. And there's some people here from Brantford who come to take a look at the um, That's another interesting thing about a better tent city is that um, people from as far away as Vancouver, uh, well, actually, no, a few places in the States, all along the 401 um, municipalities and the East Coast, too, have all reached out to ask us how we do it and what makes it work. Tony, do you want to say hello? Oh, yeah, sure. That's that. Who am I saying hi to? This is, uh, this is our live. Oh, hi, everyone. How's it going? Hi. This is Tony D'Amato Storch. Yes. Tony is um, an outreach worker with St. Mary's Parish. And his hair is so majestic all the time. I don't know why. Thanks, Tony. He's known for his majestic hair. Yes. And Tony is here one day a week, but he's here a lot more than that. <laughs> and um, Tony is the person who, if we need light bulbs, if we need yeah, to light bulbs, plywood, anything, uh, Tony makes sure that we have what we need on site to make it work. And he also has great relationships with so many people here. Yeah. That really helps. <laughs> we did the methadone clinic. Yeah, that's right. We set that. Up. Yeah, methadone. That was a that was a big effort, and it's it's really been helpful for a lot of the folks here. So. Oh, yeah. That's when I really yeah, got to know Tony. That's when we. Hold that on. Yes, and our little yeah. I thought we spent our Christmas vacation. <laughs> well, thank you for this tour. I feel like I was there, which is nice because I've never actually been there personally. So thank you for that. Um, I think we're going to move on then to um, a commercial message. And after our commercial message, oh, from our sponsors maybe, we have a, a memorial to Joe. So thank you, everyone. Please stay tuned. And thank you, Laura. And thank you, everybody there for working so hard and being so genuine. Thank you for your support.